Melissa from the Upcomings. I'm really well. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. So if you could just kick off with a brief introduction for Ear for Eye and your role within it. Uh, so my name is Rochelle Rose. I play a US woman in Ear for Eye by Debbie Tucker Green. Um, it's a really hard piece of film to... Uh, to describe because it's so epic in what it really covers. It covers life, um, but US Woman is uh, incredibly relatable. She could be anyone, she could be your neighbor, your best friend. And uh, we just follow a little bit of her journey when she's uh, she's just finished dealing with something and we're hearing her sort of talk about that. And I guess get the sort of, I don't know, therapy of a group of people that will listen to her and witness what she's gone through. And why do you think it's so important to tell this story? Obviously, it's been on the stage, but now on the big screen. Mm -hmm. I think, well, in those, do, in those two different mediums, what you're allowed to do is reach more people, in a way, with film and TV. Uh, there's only a select few people that could have come to see the, the play. I was one of those lucky few that got to come and see it. It was beautiful. It was um, mesmerizing. So with this being on film, it's kind of nice because it's... It's immortalized in a way, um, and you can have your own personal relationship with that film. And so I think that's really great. And what do you think makes Debbie Tucker Green such an incredible talent in the art world? That is a, that is a big, big question. She means so much to the canon of, of writing in general, but playwriting. Um, I remember being at university and doing a modern writing module, and that was the first time I'd ever come across her work. And what it opened up for me was this idea that there were people that looked like me, people that came from the same places or similar places to where I've come from, and were really able to encapsulate and... and uh, yeah, immortalize the places that we come from and how we speak and our rhythms and all of those different things. They're beautiful. Her, her work is like, it's like, I say it's like music compositions. They're like music compositions, but words. <laughs> and do you think we're in a kind of uh, an exciting moment right now? Um, but there's obviously still more work to be done, but I think in the aftermath of what happened with George Floyd in the US and how that spilled over into here, there's heightened awareness and there's also seems like in the cinema world, for example, you know, a broader representation happening on screen and behind the camera. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's long overdue, isn't it? You know, we want to create work that is representative of the world that we live in. And um, yeah, so it's, a, it's about time. <laughs> and especially for female voices, you know, just people of colour, but female voices. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that what's really beautiful about this particular film is that you really get a sense of the people who have come before you. So we had like amazing actress Carmen um, Munro, who was in Desmond's that we would have all grown up watching, that was like a seminal piece of art. So it's really, really important, really, really important. That, amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your time.